Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to see how to change the orientation of image using C sharp. As you can see, this is a portrait image displayed in landscape. We need to use EXIF tag metadata, get the orientation information and do the correction. In this case, rotating 270 degrees, the image will be displayed correctly. So, what we are going to do is fairly simple. First we get the orientation EXIF tag of the image. Do the rotation, or flip on the image to get the corrected image. I will show you with a small application, the adjustments we have to do for each of the image with specific EXIF value. But first, I will show you the GitHub page from where I got those images. Recursor, EXIF orientation examples, this is the repo. With this sample images, I will demonstrate the adjustments we need to do. This repo, has a Ruby generator file, if you are interested please take a look. As you can see, each image has EXIF orientation value at the center. And the direction of the image as left right, top bottom. Let's look at the images from our app, and see how it actually gets displayed based on EXIF orientation values. Here we have a picture box to load the image. Load button will select the folder. And loads the first image to the picture box. Next button, selects the next image in the folder. Rotate and flip does the actual adjustments. Now, let's run the app to see this in action. Let me first select the folder. Now the first image is loaded. We can see. This is an image with EXIF orientation value 0, and is already displayed correctly. No adjustments needed. Next image with value 1, displayed correctly, no adjustments needed again. Next image with value 2, as you can see, we need to flip it in X direction, to get it to display correctly. I will flip the image in X direction once, so the correction is rotate 0, flip X. The image is now with the correct orientation. The image with value 3, is literally upside down. So you need to rotate the image by 180 degrees, so that you get the right orientation. Let me click rotate 90 degrees twice. There you go, the orientation is fixed, with rotate 180, flip none. This image with value 4, is upside down, we can correct it, by rotating 180 degrees. Still the waterfalls is on the left, which is incorrect. Again we need to flip in X direction to get it right. So the correction value is rotate 180, flip X. This image with value 5, we need to rotate 90 degrees first. Since the waterfalls is on the left, flip X to get it to the right. The adjustment here is rotate 90, flip X. This image with value 6, rotate 90 degrees shall fix the orientation. The adjustment is rotate 90, flip none. To correct this image with value 7, you need to rotate 270 degrees. And since waterfall is on the right, flip in X direction. The adjustment here is, Rotate 270, flip X. This image with value 8, can be corrected, by rotating 270 degrees. Till now, we saw what we need to do, for each of the images. 
Now let's create a method that does exactly that. This method will take image as input, extract x of orientation value, do the rotate, and the flip, based on the value. Let's do nothing, if x of orientation tag is not there in the image metadata. Orientation property value is 274 or in hex 0x112. Let's get the orientation property item, from the image. Use the same hex code as before. Then, extract the value as unsigned integer, by using bit converter class. The arguments are value from orientation property and start index 0. Then we can add a switch case statement, for each of the x of orientation values. For 1, do nothing, return. Let's initialize a variable adjustment with a value. Let me fill in for each of the cases, as we have seen before as in the example, with their respective rotate angle, and flip action. Put the angle correctly, along with either flip x, or flip none, as we don't have flip y for any case. Finally, if we don't have default value for adjustment, rotate and flip the image by adjustment value. Now, let's call the correction method, in the load image, so that it corrects the image to be displayed in the picture box. Let's run the application again, this time. All the images should be displayed with the right orientation. As you can see, all the images, irrespective of EXIF orientation values, is getting displayed with the right orientation. That's it for this video, if you find it useful, like, and share this video, and subscribe to this channel.